How's it going everyone? Boot Hill Kid here again and then I'm at my cousin's house and we are working on, we're working on a hunting blind. Let's uh, go. there's coffee. So we've been working on a blind. We're going to do some coyote hunting this weekend and we broke a piece of our wood. And so it's back to the drawing board. We're going to work on it Saturday. Hey, coffee. Hey, buddy. Hey, baby. This is his dog, coffee. Hey. Coffee's a good dog. You say hi. Here's a tactical beaver. Tactical beaver. All right, so we're going to do an EDC video. Beaver? Let's see a tactical beaver. Tactical beaver. Let's see what you got here. All right. Let's go over your EDC here. Now, this is what you carry every single day, right? To, single to day. and from work, right? So everything you see. Everything here is goes I, in his pockets. I have big, deep pockets. You know, I carry. Everybody needs a big rack. Everybody needs, what's that, a uh, half, inch? half inch? Yeah. No, about three, uh, yeah, half inch. Five eighths, something like that. Yeah. Flag, yeah. You gotta carry your flag because. Pro America. If so. you can't tell by the shirt. Yeah, shirt, flags. Oh. Only thing missing yeah. is a toupee. Okay. In the shape of Donald Trump's hair on on the. I, 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 I'll, I'll have it eventually. <laughs> and every, I feel a little like like a pirate every now and then. So. Right, right. You got to carry the pirate knife. Pirate yeah. Knife. Yeah. Made pack sand. Piece shit. Yeah, right yeah. Up. So let's uh let's, let's move these over away. <laughs> and then once we yeah. go through them, let's move them away there. Yeah. I'm a woodworker, so yeah, you yeah. know. I got got the lathe over there. Got the yeah. lathe. Uh, Let me get out of the light here. We've got. We've got our uh, drop light light drop source. Light. But this is the shop. I got various wood tools and everything. But I'm a woodworker, so I carry a clamp with me every day. You carry know. the clamp every day, every right day. on your hip. I never know when, I'm never know when you're going to clamp something, it's, guys. You know, since I'm a woodworker, it's got to be level. Got to have it level. Yeah, if you're going to make a bench, it's got to be level. Exactly. I can't sell for Is this bench problems. level? Oh, what, what, what did you say? Look, Look at there, spot on. You know, it's got to be perfect. The tactical beaver strike again. And and sometimes, you know, I ain't got screws. You know, I carry my drill. You carry the sometimes drill. I don't have screws. When you so. run out of when you run out of screws, you got to glue. glue. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. Gorilla glue at that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm fat. I like to eat. Yeah, yeah. A Dutch oven it happens. You know, it's over the fire. Carry this. You know, not in this pants, but in the other pants got the belt. Look, carpet. Sure, pants. sure. You know, carry that. that in. That's for that's for that's retrieving for food oven, yeah. from the Dutch oven. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got to have a huge ball. Got to have a ball paint. You know? 24 ounce ball peen hammer. Yeah, you gotta have that. You gotta have it. That's uh, that's both for self defense <laughs> and for working. Exactly. All right, that's obviously <laughs> that was obviously a joke. us having a good time here. But uh, let's do this. Is his really this here is his EDC. My true. So yeah, let's go over it. Neville wallet, obviously that yeah. one's that one's pretty old. Leather, wallet, yeah, isn't? old leather wallet. Man, You've had that one for some see, years, haven't yeah. you? And I am just shaking cool. all over the place. Let me adjust my. There we go. My arms getting tired. Go ahead iPhone 6, everybody's got a phone. Yep, yep. You know. I don't, I mean, like, mine will differ from yours, I'm, you know, obviously, but. The work you do is different. Yeah. The work, I, he does more manual labor type work. Uh, I'm a school teacher, if you don't know yet, so his EDC is going to be geared more towards the work that he does. I don't know if you want to say where you well, work, that's up to you. No, which we, 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 we're family related, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, we're cousins. We, we have the same. If you we can't tell by the yeah. awesome beards, yeah. majestic beards, we think about on the same sense most of the times. But like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but you, you, you're you're more tactical than I am. Sure, and I, I, I kind of like the, uh, the the what do you say, like the older school kind of right. I don't know the classic like, carry is what yeah, I call so, it. You know, the I, classic I just carry, carry the classic case knife, two blade case knife every day. I love. Oop. If I can get it out, the case. And believe it or not, folks, that knife right there, uh, is that the Skinner model? It makes a good Skinner. It, it works, definitely. It makes a good from, Skinner because this, from use. this blade here is super blade. thin, yes. super thin blade, super awesome for skinning sharp. game. And that's more of a, I mean, that is that is an old school yeah, the old, clip, well, not really I, clip point, yeah, but, but it's just an old school shaped mm -hmm. blade and it's good for multi-purpose. But that, uh, that sheep's foot blade on there, I yeah, actually used oh, to own that yeah. same knife in purple, I think. And that sheep's foot blade, it makes a wicked Skinner. I love it. And I... And this is just a cheap old kind of my, my for my grandpa. Yeah. But a cheap old. Uh, it's just a multi-use uh, military style Swiss yeah. Army. Yeah. It's got a decent blade on it. You know, I, I use it. That's one and, of them. Uh, you can get them. They're like eight, ten dollars. Yeah. You can get them all over the place in the U.S. For those of you who are outside of the U.S., I don't know if y'all have access to those types of Swiss Army knives, but. It's this not a Victorian knock. No, no, like nothing that. like that. Just kind of a knockoff, but it works. It does the purpose. Yeah, sure. And also, Saves those have 
those have pretty thin blades too yeah, as far as the rig. Go ahead and pull the main, main blade out on that. It works great. I mean, it's and that's also got a very thin profile blade yeah. on it. Um, and it holds a great edge. Just like the Dutch Army knife that I've got, it's a little shorter, but it's a very thin blade, fine edge blade. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I like it. But the one thing I didn't like was the can opener. The, light here. the can opener on it. It's it was horrible. So I sharpened it a little bit. Right. Well, it's perfect now. Works good, yeah. It, it and that's why we we're not afraid to modify some no. tools. Coffee just decided just to take chill. a break. It's got a good uh I mean, Sorry YouTube, gonna... I know I'm shaking a lot here. I forgot my tripod at home. We will have the tripod for our hunting extravaganza this this weekend. So Hopefully we're gonna kill some yotes and Yeah, we're coyote hunting that. this weekend and uh this Saturday be a good time. several hours we're gonna be in a blind. Yeah. So Hopefully we'll have something to show you. Yeah. yeah. What else we got? Well it's got a I don't I'm not a wine drinker, but somebody might be but corkscrew, yeah. yeah. But I have found though on these corkscrews mm -hmm. they I tend to, I, I've straightened more corkscrews out on these yeah. knives. They're just, well, generic. They're not yeah. very Actually, man, well you, Actually, man, you straightened one out yes. on, a, on a bottle of wine when we were younger. Yes. <laughs> but I do use the Phillips on there quite the, a bit. The Phillips, yeah, yeah that's got and, a full-size Phillips yeah, on it full as well. Yeah, full-size Phillips. I yeah. use it actually quite a bit. And honestly, the uh, the small flat. The bottle opener? Yeah, yeah. flat. Yeah, yeah. I, use, I don't use bottle opener, but I use the flat. Yeah. I drink. Uh, we drink twist-offs yeah. and cans. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. I carry this in my coin or uh, uh, watch pocket. Yeah, yeah. It's just a small, maximum, cheap, you know, knife. That's another one in the almost. U.S. You can yeah. find those anywhere. A couple bucks, you know. Yeah, but a good edge does what you being possibly. mostly a serrated edge mm -hmm. because both of his EDC knives are not are not. They're exactly. both of these are fine edge knives, and believe it or not, folks, I used to hate serrated edge knives. I was the same one. I. Love serrated edge mm -hmm. knives for certain tasks, cutting Attitude, rope, yes, anything twine, like that, cutting rope, twine, twine anything I mean, like anything. that. I the serrated it. edge just makes it a breeze, and you're not dulling your main blade. Walmart skull, yeah, got <laughs> the little there. skull bead on there. And then uh, I don't smoke, but you should always have some sort of fire in any situation. I, I like, agree. I'm a big uh, Indian fan. I, you know, I I just dig it so. Is that the American or the football team? No, no, that's just a regular. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not a, I'm not a Chiefs by no means football fan. Now I got a little four inch uh, nitpicks carry in my pocket every day for very. And you know, I you think know? we've been pronouncing that wrong. What? I watched a German guy on YouTube. He. You know what I call nitpicks? He, a German guy on YouTube, actually, these are made in Germany. He pronounces this knipics. They actually, they, he said in Germany they actually pronounce the K. Really? But I'm, it's, I'm still gonna call them nitpicks. Well, sometimes <laughs> I call them. Can I? <laughs> yeah, but uh, this, these are made in Germany. Really? I've got a a little bit larger version that that like we actually scored. Yeah. yeah, we actually scored at the pawn shop, mm -hmm. and I got it for what a buck. Yeah, I mean nothing. Oh like yeah, a I gave box, a know? dollar for it, and it mm -hmm. was absolutely. It had a little rusted down in in here, but I, I took the Dremel and works. cleaned it up. So yeah, but Nipex they, are. Very, I, I swear by them. Very handy. You know, I mean, like you, you carry multi tool. Right. I mean, I guess that's a multi tool in a sense. We're gonna get to mine here in a second. I don't carry a full multi tool with pliers and right everything like it. And this I'm is so getting small. In the slide again. <laughs> Four inch does the job. Right. Well, I mean, and you use those just, yeah, most just, every day, day right? Yeah. For, with, with your job, job, yeah. And even as EDC, you know, the stuff we do, we right. We do a lot of projects. We we do we we like our projects. Yeah. We um, both woodwork. I mean, we both. I got blades. We make right. blades. We do knives. Yeah, that's something I've been been getting into, which I've always done the woodworking. I learned yeah. it in high school, and that's something we. Uh, and nobody be offended by that. Yeah, it's, it's a Dell Earnhardt. Dell Earnhardt Jr. Fan. Yeah, or senior. They're senior. Yeah, Dell Earnhardt Senior, Earnhardt number three. I'm not a bit racist. <laughs> Don't don't make fun of my bandana. You always should, should have a bandana, I believe. And I, I, I love, agree. I love pineapples, <laughs> so you know pineapple bandana. I dig the pineapples. I, I, I you know I I got various other colors, but I like the pineapples. You know, I mean, and in, in my ADC, I think you should have. There's four things to me. Everybody differs. Everybody carries something different. But I, what I think you should always have a blade, some sort of blade, knife. You know, for obvious reasons. Bandanas, obvious reasons. Signaling for. First aid for e anything, yep. you know, always light and fire. I mean, that's just always. Yeah. And as he said, he doesn't smoke, but he no, carries a lighter every, every day. Every I day. smoke and I carry a lighter, but yeah. I think anybody, whether you smoke or not, 
you need you should have a lighter because if you get broke down on the side of the interstate yeah. and mm -hmm. or if you're on a back road going yeah. somewhere and you get lost and you exactly. get broke down if you have a way to start a fire quickly you're, that could be the difference yeah, in life covered. and death i mean mm. yeah sure you've got a feral rod in your mm. bag but it's not as quick as a big or exactly you still got to get tiny. tender and wood exactly. together if you got a lighter and but done you know you're it that's it and, and most guys that dip in edc and are tactical they carry you know truck bags or something like that uh, what yeah. happens one day and you don't have it exactly and you have one in your pocket every day you're looking at it's me just... look look right there oh yeah well, you I'm keep sorry. looking at me <laughs> <laughs> all right what else we got coast uh two uh double a it's a double a what does that say? it's I mean, a little bit bigger than mine the g20 coast series with the clip you know i carry it in my for work i carried in my uh Shirt pocket. pocket, yeah. But on you know every day I carried in my pants, you know, and it's a decently bright. Let's get that. I mean, so that doesn't have much blood. That's got no, hot. That's yeah. just got a hot spot. I, I actually like a hot, a nice hot spot. I, I do too. When I'm working on things, yeah. yeah if I'm, I'm, I don't use this when I'm going, like when we go hunting or right. you know, I carry a different right. light for that. But as an EDC, to me, it's perfect light. It's slim, right. but you know, I mean, I can slide it right in my pocket. And see, that's the perfect. thing with mine. Um, I actually think the batteries died on me today. Yeah, oh, they died man. on me today. But this is That's more a of a flood. One. Yeah, it's a new one I've been testing out. But it's more of a flood. I like more of a spot on my EDC yeah. light because whatever I'm using it for, you're close. I'm trying to, trying to see to, something exactly. that's just bare, you know, it's just you know, right in the dark right there, yeah. and I just need to see and that when one it's thing. Out, yeah, you know what I, mean? I, I, I'm, I, I like a nice hot spot exactly. on an EDC light. I'm I like a nice way. flood on a larger, like a, a D or C exactly yeah. battery flashlight. I, then I like a, a nice flood. I, right. I don't care the size when it comes to a flashlight. Right. I'm gonna carry it. Right. You know, obviously everybody prefers slimmer. Maybe, right. But I, I use a light every day. I'm going to use it continuously every day. It's same. So yeah, I use mine every size, day. You know, I mean. And I actually, my like I said, my my I recommend a light. Uh, uh, fire upon first of anything, you know. But I, right. Light to me is second. Yeah. And that's just the way I believe. You know. Yeah. I mean, just no, I'm with you. You well, that's know. that's my thing. I use a flashlight every day for for my job. Yeah. I have several, couple jobs, but I use it every day. There's not a day I don't pull my flashlight exactly. out of my pocket and use it, whether and it's at work it. or after work. And uh, well, yeah, with all the projects we do, everything we and do, that's yeah, and that's my main lights. gripe with lights. with the the through night uh, TI4 that I've been carrying. The my big gripe is that it's a flood for the most part. Exactly. Yeah. And my old Bushnell was a it had a hot spot, a yeah. pretty decent. It had a little bit of a flood, mm -hmm. but it had a nice hot spot perfect, and I, yeah. I yeah it was perfect had one mode not to say that the the through night isn't a nice flashlight no, yeah, hey let me out, but through, through night makes yeah. a good flashlight that's this is mine uh i actually just put the um heat shrink on here and on the clip because it kept falling out of my pocket that and heat we'll shrink uh if y'all haven't done that yet that is an awesome mod to do i actually had some on the back but it came off recently but that is an awesome mod. Keeps it in my pocket. That's great. I like it's it. a good flashlight. I don't. I'm not going to knock well, the flashlight at all. But for my my mode of carry, mm -hmm. my use, it, it's just not perfect. Yeah. I just want an on off single mode. I've said that before in my videos. I want an on and off single mode flashlight right. with a nice hot it's spot. Smaller than the it, coast, it is smaller, know, and I like that size. Yeah, exactly. I like it. That that rides in my back left pocket. I love that size. Mm -hmm. I don't like having four mo you know three four modes it's, on it because it's got a you like right it's got a firefly a medium and a high mm -hmm. and it's then it's got a strobe but you gotta go through all You're those twice get to get through it this would be a great for a kit be exactly. perfect for a kit mm -hmm. not so much for you to see all right you got two more things here what two we more, got yeah all right i just keys you know and i carry a little saw knife you got the saw <laughs> key knife yeah and it's short but and i do use it but it's that's a good box opener yeah that's what i that's what i use up my, my back up to my back of i use my keychain knives for yeah. opening packages and stuff like that so i'm not ruining my blades various keys you know and, uh, and is just, that a is that a homemade yeah, a little homemade little. Uh, it's a nine little millimeter lanyard, casing, yeah. little lanyard. Ca What'd you do? Punch the primer out? Yeah, I just yeah. punched it out and drilled it. I got you. Now this is my little jewel. That's I a carry. knife. That's a nice knife. Right I there. love it. I carry it every day. It is the Boker Gnome. And I, you you ride that kind of yeah, scout I, for, carry, but not in the back. Scout carry, yeah. yeah. And, and which is how I'm carrying my my Gerber. Yeah. yeah. I, I I like minimalist style carry with everything I carry. And, and I really, this love. this to me qualifies as a minimalist carry. I, I think so too. For the most well. part, the wallet. I mean, it's not a minimalist wallet, no, but, but as far as the amount of stuff you carry yeah. compared to some other people, it's exactly. a minimalist. I would say. And 
<laughs> I bought, well, you know, you can get Boker two ways. You get the leather uh, vertical normal carry sheath, right. you know, or you get the Kydex work. <coughs> Let's see the blade on that. Kydex sheath. And I bought the Spyderco, like a G10 or G11. Yeah, yeah. The horizontal carry anyways. But, right. I mean, it's uh, too... Fine edge. Yes. Got nice liners on it. That's a, oh, And my yes. car to grit and my yeah, car to my scales. Car is, I think it's a two-inch blade. Super nice. Blade, super sharp, super it's nice. It's 10.95, isn't it? Steel uh, or is it stainless? Well, I think it's 440. I don't think it says on No, there. yeah, yeah. 440. 440 C? Yeah, That's surprising. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Uh oh. We stepped, stepped on, on Coffee's tail. <laughs> you all right, right Coffee? <laughs> Anyways, but you know, I carried every day horizontal carry. I wrapped a little, uh, uh, not what is this, like uh, fake, um, the, like the uh, suede, suede, yeah, yes, fake suede. suede. I use it, I've used it before. I mean, I, I, I had a paracord on there, but it was a little too thick, you know, right? I could feel it under my shirt and everything, right? So that's probably three foot, maybe, maybe two. I mean, just just that suede strap, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I to tie down, switch, you know, I mean, I use it, and then I got of course paracord right here, and, right? Because I mean, it's right. a small blade, you get a little bit better grip, yeah. On it. it just kind of helps, you know. I right. use this for everything now. Of course, if I'm going hunting, I'm gonna carry a bigger knife, but and I can attest to that. This man know. uses his knife for just about everything. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, I recommend. Yeah. Anybody that's a minimalist style of carry, buy the Boker Gnome. I love it. I have nothing but good stuff to say about it. Holds good edge. Right on. Oh, I know this ain't a Boker Gnome review. <laughs> you know, but well, we've been reviewing the, the through night. So yes. I'm going to. I guarantee you. I I'm going to transfer. We're at 16 yeah, minutes. I'm just going to slide your stuff over there. I'm going to transfer the short. transfer the phone to you, oh, and right. I'm going to slide my. Just come around. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Everybody I'm gonna transfer that to you of my good looks and uh, slide my stuff over here. So my EDC hasn't changed much, uh, as we talked about. I've got the the three knot TI4 um, so. with the heat shrink, heat shrink on the on the body. Let me get a close up of that on the body and yeah. on the clip. Um, as, again, I ran my battery out today. I was using it uh, working on a computer today. I've got a I believe this is a t 16. 16 gig flash drive that I carry in my pocket every day. That's on top of the 32 gig flash drive that I carry on my keys. Uh, I also carry, have been carrying the Night Eyes uh, doohickey, I think it is, bottle opener, and uh, I use this to, to open boxes. A lot of, it's not oh, sharp yeah. at all, but, but does. It's, it's enough to open a package. Still carrying the uh, Leatherman style CS uh, scissors. Use those just about every every single day. Oh, I'd imagine. Uh, I use the knife on them for opening boxes, for cutting open letters in the mail, all kinds of stuff. Still got the Wobo Minimalist wallet. I'm carrying two lighters today because the black lighter is just about empty, and I just picked the, light, the green lighter up earlier. And I smoke, but even if I didn't smoke, I'd carry a lighter. Uh, I feel like it's a must-have. Still carrying the Buck two blade. This is uh, back to this old school carry. Uh, Tactical Beaver carries a case. It's significantly larger than the Buck. Um, is yours two blades? Is it? Mine's two blades. Is yeah. it two blades? About sheep's foot blade in there? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. Um, but it's kind of that old school philosophy of carry. Our, uh, I mean, this is what our grandparents carried. You know mm, exactly. So this this is what what we carry. Mine's got a, a small blade. I use this blade for just for whittling. Uh, when I'm trying to make steaks in, in camp, I use this little short blade to make uh, steaks to stake out my tarp. And then the larger blade I actually have used for game processing for skinning. Uh, and it works fairly well. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's got a nice, nice profile yes. on both sides. Uh, and a this nice blade here, too. I believe, is 1095, maybe something like that, uh, or 14 MOV, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, but this holds a wicked edge. It's great for skinning. That rides in my front left pocket. Still carrying the Leatherman Skeletal. I also did the um, heat shrink tubing on it. I've been carrying the, well, now this, this is another story. I've been carrying the Schrade OTF 7, and the pocket clip fell off today. Um, both the screws came out, and it screws from the insides. So you got to take the entire knife apart to screw the pocket clip back on, 
Uh, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to take the damn thing apart. I, I can't figure out how to take the damn thing apart. I've tried. Really? I can't get it apart. And I've taken just about everything I own apart at some point. I can't figure it out. So we've switched back over to the CRKT Fossil. This is that's a nice knife, 14, yeah. yeah, it's 14, 8, whatever. It's a nice steel. I can never remember that 8 MOV 14, whatever it is. I can never remember it, but I'll, CRKT uses it a lot in their knives. It's a large folder. If you haven't watched my videos before, I am a proponent of carrying a large tactical style folder that I do not use. I do not use my large folder for anything. Not for cutting open boxes, not for anything. This, I save the blade on my large knife. I use the blade on my multi-tool for all of my tasks. Just about everything I do, I use the blade half serrated, half fine edge. I use this for just about everything I do. This to me is a, I, I guess more of a self-defense line of, of thinking. Um, this is not an assisted open. It is just that quick. It's a bearing system, awesome knife, feels great in the hand. I'm actually gonna take these micarta scales off at some point. I've got some uh, walnut I'm gonna steal from the old man and redo those in walnut. But awesome knife. If you ain't got none, I got about a two foot stick. There right you there. go. Um, been carrying the Gerber Prodigy every day when I'm not at work. Um, been carrying it in a scout carry style, but not on my back. You know, most scout carry will be uh, along the belt in the mm -hmm. back. I've not been carrying it that way. I've actually been carrying it in my homemade sheath that's Kydex lined. I've been carrying it right here. Uh, trapping season is coming up and I like my knife readily available for doing tasks. I actually did take and put this on a grinder and ground this down. This is a glass break but I found that I was hitting my, my wrist on it and stuff. When I'd be doing stuff I'd hit my hand uh, when it's in the sheath here. I'd reach across and I'd hit it. Well, it was gashing open my hand because it was so sharp on the edges. <coughs> so I just took, uh, put it on the grinder, ground it down. It's nice and smooth now. I can assure you, I will never use this to break a window. Ever. I'll pick up a rock. <laughs> I'm not going to be using my knife because to me, if I'm breaking up, there's just, I, I'm not using my knife for that. That's not why I have it. So this is my been my EDC blade, half serrated, half fine edge. I used to hate them. Kenza, she's all right. She's playing with <laughs> so the we're dog. playing with the dog. <laughs> but um, as I said before, I used to hate serrated, but I have, mm -hmm. grown, I have grown to love. Grown this to knife. love it. Same well, here. I love serrated, but I've just grown to love this knife. It's mm -hmm. feels good. In I your wasn't hand. sure about it. Yeah, I wasn't sure about it when I got it. This was a Walmart find. Mm -hmm. I think it run fifty or sixty bucks on Walmart. I'm gonna take that hat off. So, um, yeah, good. I think they run 50 or 60 bucks. No, mine's a Kershaw. He's like, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, it just feels it feels so good to hand. I bought a second one uh, at a yard sale. For, this is actually the one I got at the yard sale, I think. But it feels good in the hand. The blade size is perfect. I'm going to try to find one with just a straight fine edge um, for a camping knife, basically. Um, but I've grown to love this knife. I've been carrying it every day when I'm not at work. Uh, the trapping season's about ready to start, and I like, I carry a backpack while I'm trapping to set my trap line, and so I like having it, this is the whole reason I made this sheath like this, because I like having it readily accessible for cutting lines, anything like that. Sometimes I'll, if it's real wet, I'll take my footholds, and I'll take some uh, brown, coyote brown paracord, and I'll actually run it to a tree and tie it off. And I've never had anything carry my traps off and get, I mean, they could obviously bite through the paracord, sure, but I've never had one do it. So I, I like having this readily accessible, especially when I'm out in the backwoods and when I've got my backpack on, it's just so much right easier. There. I can get it with either hand. If one hand's tied up, I can get it with left hand, you know, if I can get it back in sheath, I can get it with the right hand, however I need to get to it. Um, and I found that when I'm dispatching an animal and it's in my trap, I shoot it with my 22. I've got my 22 there. I stand on my trap to get the foot out. I have had uh, animals not be completely dead and try to snap at me, mainly coyote. And uh, I've been scared a couple times with bobcats. So I've got my rifle there. I get the foot out while I've got access to my knife with my left hand. If something happens, I can at least fend them off. And then, you know, bandana, same thing. Uh, I had a gentleman comment on one of my videos over the summer um, that I didn't carry a bandana, and I should. 
and I always carry a bandana. Just there was a few videos there where I didn't have it on me because I wasn't riding my Harley as much and I just didn't have it on me. So, but yeah, that's it. That's my EDC. It hasn't changed much. The, basically, the only thing that ever changes in my EDC is my tactical blade, my fixed blade, and my flashlight. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. This is a system, and, and for a lot of you, it'll be the same. When you find a system that works, you're gonna stick with you're it. You're gonna stick you know? with it. The only time my system changes is if I pick up a new knife that I want to try out and review for YouTube, or or one that I think I would like better. But you know, with this, this just feels good in the hand. I, I like a knife that feels good. It's got a nice finger choil there. That's the flipper. I don't know if you can see the flipper here to open it. Makes a wicked finger choil. I mean, there's no way you're not slipping off that. And uh, I mean, it just feels. You can get a good choke on it. If it came down to it and I was in a survival situation, this knife could be used to feather stick and, and process woods. So, that's it guys. That is the EDC. So, I'm the Boot Hill Kid. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.